Good morning. Dear friends, today is Tuesday. It will be 45 degrees today. We will learn how to play addition topic. Make it a great day. Love, Mrs. Nornberg. So every Tuesday from now on, I am going to be doing a math lesson and I'm picking things that I think are really important to be ready for first grade. And today we're going to play Addition Top It, which is a new version of Top It. And we are going to be using number cards and you will need a partner for this game. So do that right now and you can get a partner, whether it's mom, dad, brother, sister, babysitter, whoever, grandma, grandpa. Um, and then on Canvas, I have these number cards. You can either use these cards that are on Canvas or you can make your own cards. The cards I have on Canvas go up to number 10, but today we only need numbers 0 through 5. So you will sort out numbers 0 through 5, or you can make your own cards. And as a challenge, you could create bigger numbers. Still numbers under 20, though, for now. Um, and this is a game that's going to really help us get better at addition. And remember, when we're adding numbers together, we're taking them and putting them together. We will play subtraction top it maybe next week or the week after that. Um, so first we need to get this under our belts. All right. So like I said, you will need a partner. And today my partner is going to be this bunny that Jack got this weekend as a gift. So I'm going to use this bunny, and the person that's going to go first this week is going to be the taller person, and I am definitely taller, so I will be playing first. All right, so pause this video while you get your cards ready and your partner, okay? And now, if you are back, then hopefully you will have clicked the play button again, and we are ready to go. So all of our cards are going to be face down. And I'm actually going to flip the camera down so you can see. All right. So all the cards are face down and they are numbers zero through five. So what I'm going to do is I am going to be taking two cards because remember this is addition. We're going to be adding numbers together. So I need two cards to add together. I have the numbers four and five. One way I could solve that is I could use my fingers. So I have four plus five is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or I could use my whiteboard to solve my problem. So we're gonna use the magic circles. We have one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five. If you don't have a whiteboard, you can just use a piece of paper. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got the same answer both times, so I'm good to go. So my answer is nine. And then the bunny, it's their turn. Four plus zero. All right, tell me what that equals. It equals four. All right, so we have both added our numbers together. Mine equals nine, bunnies equals four. Whisper to your hand who has the bigger sum, whose number is bigger after they added them together. If you said me, you are right. Nine is bigger than four, so I get to keep the cards. Whoever has the bigger number gets to keep the cards. And then we're going to go again. So I have zero plus one equals one. Bunny has one plus two at home, you should be telling me what that equals. Bunny says three. So I have one. Bunny has three. Which number is bigger? If you said bunny, you are right. All right, next one. I have two plus three. Two plus three equals five. And bunny has three plus five. Let's see, we have five plus three equals, what is it equal? If you said eight, you are right. So Bunny gets the cards. All right, now here's Bunny's winning cards. Here are mine. I have one, two, three, four cards all together, and Bunny has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Who has more cards, Bunny or me? 
You said bunny, you are right. So bunny is the winner. Good job. Thanks for playing bunny. Would you like to play again? If they, your partner says yes, then you can do that. If not, then you can maybe do it another time. Okay. So before I forget, what happens if you both get the same answer? Let's pretend that I had four plus zero and let's pretend that bunny had three plus one. Both equal four. So what would happen? Hmm. If you said you both get two more cards and try again, then you are right. If you have a tie, then both of you will take two more cards. And whoever has the bigger number then gets to keep all of those cards. Okay? So uh, as you're playing, remember it does not matter who wins. That's not fun. We play this just for fun and to get stronger and stretch our brains when it comes to addition. So it does not matter who wins. Whoever you're playing with, make sure you thank them for playing and have a good attitude. Have fun. Okay. Um, let's see, is there anything else I want to mention? You can play this um, any day, really. And if you are wanting to use bigger cards or bigger numbers, please make sure that you um, are double checking your work. Maybe you will need a piece of paper and draw out using your magic circles, or you can use something around your house like coins. Um, instead of drawing them, you can use those to use to add numbers together um, and have fun with it. Okay. So I hope that you have fun playing addition, top it with your family. And when you're done with these cards, keep them somewhere safe because we will use these again for subtraction top it in a week or two. Okay. I hope you have a great day. I hope that you are playing outside a lot and playing games with your family. And I hope that maybe you're learning to tie your shoes or something like that. So until tomorrow, I will see you later. Bye.